so what's up guys hope you are doing well i match from techmatch and today i'm going to show you that how you can solve the problem no speakers or headphones are plugged in in your windows 11 windows 10 or other versions of windows computer i know this problem is really annoying your device might be plugged in and it is not giving you any output you cannot hear any audio so i will show you a couple of solutions so stick with me all right so first go to the settings of your device and after coming to settings then just click on system and under system here scroll down a bit and click on about so here you can see the about section so just click on here and now here you can see system protection under related links so just click on system protection here and now here you can see system properties in your system properties just click on hardware tab and in your hardware tab just click on device installation settings and here you can see two options available do you want to automatically download manufacturer app so here it is by default selected to yes recommended so in for this tutorials purposes you need to select it to no and windows might give you a warning that your device might not work as expected but don't worry about it because we will manually try to install or update our drivers so just click on no and then you need to just mainly click on save changes so here you can see the option so let me click on here and now let's click on ok and let's close it okay now let's move on to our next step which is to run some commands so here in your windows search option search for cmd so you need to mainly run it as administrator so after opening your command prompt as administrator you need to mainly type two commands so the commands will be available in the description below so here you can see i am copying the first command so you can type it or you can also copy and paste this command and then just press on enter so here it is saying the command completed successfully let's move on with our next command so let me just copy this command and let's again go to our command prompt and let's paste it and then press on enter again so here it is saying the command completed successfully and after completing both of this command then you mainly need to restart your computer and check if it solved your problem or not all right and if it didn't solve your problem then let's move on with our last step so for our last step here search for device manager and then open your device manager and here in your device manager you mainly need to go to sound options so here you can see sound videos and game controls so here you can see the option so just click on this drop down icon here you can see multiple options of audio drivers are available so you mainly need to disable all of them except the one which is recommended for your device so you can experiment by disabling each of them and see which one work for you all right so you mainly need to enable the one that is designated for your device so let me just disable the incorrect ones so after disabling the incorrect one then you should be left with the one that should be appropriate for your device so just click on the one so it might be a real tech one or it might be amd driver so just right click on it and click on update driver and here if your device is connected to the internet so just click on search automatically and it is saying the base driver for your device are already installed so you should now try it again it didn't solve your problem then click on update driver again so let me just click on here and then here you need to click on browse my computer for driver so now you mainly need to manually download it so you can go to your manufacturer website and you can search for any sound driver that might be available on their website and you mainly need to download it so here click on have dicks and then you can browse it to where you have downloaded it manually or if you have found here some alternative options then you can select it and then click on next and click on yes here so here you can see there might be giving you a warning so don't worry about it click on yes and here it is saying windows has successfully updated your driver so now you need to mainly restart your computer for the changes to take effect and that's it this should solve the problem of no speakers or headphones are plugged in in your windows 11 or windows 10 computers so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so i'm mesh from techmesh and i'm signing out